Incoming email. What you want to know? Craig's Corner. <laughs> hey, welcome to Craig's Corner for Monday, January 6th, 2014. Make sure I got that year right. Yeah, I did. Happy New Year to everybody. We're super excited that recently we announced Voice Live 3, so it's been a huge labor of love for us over the last couple of years to uh, get that product together. As some of you may have seen on our Facebook page, uh, we're a group of 12 guys, so it's, uh, it's a really monumental task to put out such a, a complex uh, device with uh, such a limited staff, so it's been really, really crazy working on that and really fun, and I can't wait to see you know what the community thinks of that product. It's, uh, it's going to be pretty amazing. And uh, wanted to come back and do a question here. I've got one from a guy named Curtis. Uh, he had some questions about his voice life too and the way that it handles phantom power. So the questions were twofold. Uh, first one was, if I have phantom power turned on on my voice life too to power my condenser mic, do I need phantom power turned on at the mixing console that I'm, I'm outputting the voice life to, too as well? Uh, and wow, I just said too too as well. Anyways, that's the beauty of Craig's Corner. I get to fumble in front of you guys. Um, the answer is no. You don't want to have phantom power turned on at your mixer because Voice Life 2 is handling the phantom power between its mic input and the microphone. You don't need phantom power connected from the XLR outputs of your Voice Life 2 off to your mixer. Um, you actually might in experience some pops and cracks and things like that if you're plugging things in and out uh, from Voice Life 2 to a phantom powered mixer. So definitely don't want to do that. His second part of the question was, uh, can I power my phantom powered mic via the Voice Live 2 with the phantom power from my mixer? Uh, so the, the intent would be to turn phantom power off on the mixer, but ha or off on the Voice Live 2, but have the mixer do that work for him. And the answer to that is also no. Uh, we can't pass phantom power from the outputs of Voice Live 2 that go to the mixer back through to the input and then out to the microphone. So you just can't make that physical uh, electrical connection to pass the phantom power. You're going to need to turn off phantom power on the mixer, turn it on in the voice left too, and that will correctly proper or correctly power your uh, your condenser mic. Hope that helped you, Curtis. I appreciate the question, and uh, I do have a little bit of a backlog going here. I'm going to have some more episodes of Craig's uh, Craig's Corner coming up soon. Plus, obviously, tons and tons, I'm sure, of questions and tips and tricks and stuff I like about Voice Life Three coming up in the future. All right, happy New Year, people. Talk to you soon.